Hey folks, how are you doing? So today's topic is all about impatience in weightlifting or impatience in strength training of any sort really. So I'm going to be talking more about Olympic weightlifting, but I think this also applies to powerlifting, to strongman, to a lot of strength sports uh, that I think a lot of you probably have taken part in. So I looked at a video a while ago by um, Barbell Shrugged, um, a really cool YouTube channel, they have some great discussions, so definitely go check them out if you don't, that's um, Barbell Shrugged. Uh, but they were talking about impatience and the sort of feeling that you want to improve faster maybe than you are improving, that you've not hit PRs in a while, that you maybe just want to improve faster. Um, and sometimes it's even that you are hitting PRs, just not at quite the rate that you want to hit them. So I want to talk a little about impatience, specifically maybe to Olympic lifting, and what you can do if you are that impatient kind of person um, that just wants to improve that a little bit faster. Um, and I'll be the first to admit that I think we all sort of are this to some degree, and I'm definitely an impatient person. I am always looking at different programs and this program and that program and how I can make my workouts better. And like, I think we always, we're focused on the program, and I'm always focused on the program thinking, well, if I do this and manipulate that percentage, or I add this here or that there, or I add this to my program, or I change that and tweak. And you get in that mentality, and you're always looking for the next thing or the next secret or the next way that you can manipulate that to make faster progress. Uh, but the problem is that I don't think there are any secrets to progression in weightlifting or to progression in strength sports. Programs work based on really, really similar principles of manipulation of volume, intensity and frequency. And if a program works for a majority of people, chances are it's going to work for you. I know there are individualization and different people will be slightly different, but if a program has worked for 30 people and it's not working for you, chances are it's with you. Like if you've tried lots of programs and you haven't really PR'd on any of them, then chances are the problem is with you as a person rather than with the program as it's written. Um, which sounds quite harsh, but it usually means that there's something in your recovery, in your mobility, and something that's limiting you from getting your goals. So if you are impatient and you want to improve, um, I love the Barbo Shrugged quote that said, be impatient in your recovery and be impatient in your development of technique. So if you've been given a program that's three or four days a week, um, like if I'd given you a program that's three or four days a week, and you come to me and you say, well, I got impatient, so I've added an extra three days, I'm now training six days a week, I'm probably gonna call you a bit of an idiot. Like, it, we're the most loving in the world. There's not really any need to do that. Um, by all means, put some extra stuff around. If you wanna put some extra conditioning workouts, some core stuff, any kind of that, no problem whatsoever. Um, but don't go doing full extra weightlifting or strength workouts in a week because you're just gonna knacker yourself. Um, if you come to me, however, and you say, look, I got impatient, so I decided to do some extra technique work with a light bar, I'll give you a thumbs up. If you say, well, I got impatient, I just decided to do five more mobility sessions, again, I'm going to give you a thumbs up because that is all stuff that's not going to tax you more, but that's going to improve your ability at that sport, okay? So be impatient at building technique, be impatient at building your mobility, and be impatient at your recovery, okay? If you're getting impatient because you're not making progress, go out and start buying good quality food, buy tons of good quality protein. If you're getting impatient that you're, you know, maybe that something's not going right, you're not reaching your goals, um, uh, how do I so, see. so if you're not either like if you're trying to gain weight for a competition and you're not quite making that weight then be impatient in your nutrition tracking go to my fitness pal log everything you eat track those calories track those macros be impatient that way okay look at the ways that you can be impatient to improve your recovery your mobility and your technique if you focus on those three things you'll get so much better at the sport than just by sticking on additional strength sessions with no real goal or purpose so I'm hoping that makes sense to all you guys I'm hoping that is a uh, just a few useful tips that you can take. So focus on those three things and I will guarantee you your progress will come faster than if you'd actually just tried to focus on banging away on the bar every week. Um, seems a little counterintuitive, but try it. Try it for a month, stick with me, and see what progress you make. Uh, I'll speak to you guys again soon. If you like this kind of video, then make sure to hit the like button. Uh, and if you want some more of these, then hit subscribe. And I'll chat to you guys later.